I wasn't going to do it, but let's talk about Blue Beetle. Yep, you heard that right. DC is bringing a fresh face to the big screen with the debut of our newest superhero, Jaime Reyes, aka Blue Beetle. Directed by Angel Manuel Soto and starring the talent Zolo Maradueña, the flicks got everything you need. Aliens, tech, and of course, an epic suit or armor. Well, there's not like any police. Seriously, this, this movie is making us question why there aren't any police around when the stuff hits the fan. But overall, it's, it's a good movie. It's a good movie. So what's the deal, you ask? Well, recent college grad Jaime Reyes rolls back to his hometown full of dreams, only to find out things aren't quite the same. But fate has other plans when he stumbles on an ancient alien relic, the Scarab, which decides, hey, you... You're the chosen one. Kill the superhero suit transformation and bam, we've got ourselves a new superhero in town. So grab your avocado toast, charge up your AirPods, and let's break down every pixelated punch of Blue Beetle. Now, let's break it down into the good. First off, this movie had me pleasantly surprised. It's like when you order a small coffee and they give you a large by mistake. It's that good. DC, take note, because Blue Beetle is the hero that we've been waiting for this year. This easily takes the gold for DC releases this year. Seriously, I was not expecting to be this impressed. The cast, ah, mm. Zolo, our new Blue Beetle, he's a breath of fresh air, and he nails it as Jaime Reyes. He's like the Tom Holland of the DC universe. Totally fine, entertaining, and just a tad bit adorable. Jaime Reyes' family? Hilarious. Jaime's quirky family had me in tears. Plus, the superhero B show? <laughs> Yo, they brought it back. Nana and Uncle Rudy had me LOLing, well, most of the time, because Uncle Rudy could be a tad bit annoying. And yo, that story arc with his dad? That storyline hit me right in the feels, like for real, for real. The tear emoji almost made an appearance. I laughed, I cried, and I almost spat out my soda. Trust me, this fam's got some comedy gold. And oh boy, did it get real when Jaime's dad passed away and he talked to his dad on the ancestral plane. Yeah, you know, it, it hit close to home for anyone who's ever lost someone. My, I know, I know my emotions were all over the place. Blue Beetle's getup, his costume, that, that costume was kind of fly. And that transformation scene was low-key giving me Venom vibes, and I loved it. Ted Cord and the Cord Industries, yo, mad props for DC for diving into the deep cuts of Blue Beetle's legacy. That history lesson was pure gold. Plus, the movie had decent pacing, like the pacing was really on point. It didn't leave me checking my phone or yawning like, you know, like Justice, Justice League. League. Uh, the villain wasn't your average mirror villain either. His backstory was really cool, it was really epic, you learned more about him being a child soldier turned villain. Plus, they gave a nod to Omak? I see what you did there, I, I appreciate that. Also, can we talk about the CGI? The CGI. Like seriously, after some recent CGI fails in superhero movies, I'm giving up a standing ovation for this solid work. And those video game nods, the Final Fantasy VII, Yo, that stole the show, but the gamer in me appreciated all the little Easter eggs that they sprinkled throughout the movie from beginning to end. Now, let's get into the bad. Again, first up, where are the police? Seriously, in a world where there are explosions, there's gunfire, there's buildings crumbling, not a single cop in sight? Not one? What, they really all just on vacation? All of them? That was a little weird. And Jaime, buddy, why you gotta be so gullible? Like, the bad guys wanna hurt you, and you're out there trying to negotiate like it's a schoolyard squabble. Jaime's got them brains, but he needs some street smarts. Who talks their way out of danger when a villain's on your tail? Seriously. Where is your spidey sense? Lastly, superhero origin stories. Look, I get it. Mm, this, this, is, this is a little pet peeve of mine. I get it. But can we switch things up a bit? Like, we've seen our fair share of superhero origin stories. We, I don't even know if I need them anymore. I think it's time for a change. Just hit the ground running. Overall, wrapping it up, why why, why didn't they promote Blue Beetle more? It's, it's better than a straight to HBO Max release, that's for sure. This movie deserves billboards, TV commercials, and maybe even a blimp that goes by and says, watch Blue Beetle. If you had to endure The Flash recently, first off, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you had to watch that. I'm, I'm, I understand. Consider this film your refreshing palate cleanser. It's like a polished Spider-Man movie, but with its own unique Latino charm. So grab your friends, 
your sidekicks, or just fly solo and head to the theater. Blue Beetle is the hidden gem you didn't know you needed. Oh, and if you've seen it already, drop your thoughts in the comments. And of course, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for more movie magic. Until next time, stay geeky, stay groovy, and stay at the movies. Peace. Thank you.